Okay, so I have been having a struggle with my breakfast. Um, my dietitian at my last session with her has suggested that I do um, a total of 60 grams of carbs a day and 90 grams of protein a day, which is kind of difficult. Um, the 90 grams of protein, difficult. Carbs, not so much, but, um, you know, because of the 60 grams of carbs, um, which is, you know, less than what most people would eat in a day, um, I'm struggling with my breakfast. So, I usually have a breakfast sandwich, but the bread in the breakfast sandwich adds way too many carbs to my day. Um, so, my solution is, and also, the reason I do a breakfast sandwich is because it's portable and I can eat it in the car on the way to work. So, my solution to this is to bring the eggs with me to work and cook them there. And I have a single single slice of bread that I'm going to have for toast, which will cut down on the um, carbs. But in but I can still have my breakfast. Um, and since my eggs are in a container, I can just eat them out of the container when I get to work. And, uh, you know, cook them when I get there as well. So. So I'm at my doctor's office, about to go in, um, checking, getting my, just checking in on my back and <clears throat> my elbow and my shoulder. Three things that have been bothering me for a while. The back started, at, well, I mean, it's been a long-term thing, but, um, you know, the more acute pain started um, a week and a half ago, as I said in my last video. Um, <clears throat> the elbow pain has been going on for a couple months now. I think it's directly related to the training, but I'm not positive, as well as the shoulder pain. So I just want to get my doctor's opinion about what is causing those three things and um, if I'm still good to do strength training or if there's anything I should be um, doing differently to help myself get better. I'll check in afterwards. Okay, so um, I just got done with my doctor. We're going to do an x-ray of my lower back spine to see what's going on in there because the spine and the muscles around it are pretty inflamed and painful. Um, and... My elbow has, I guess it's tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, and bicep tendonitis. So all the way around it, um, pretty inflamed. So he's instructed me to not do my usual, uh, you know, weight training routine that I've been doing until we can get the x-ray back for my back and see what's going on. But I will call my trainer and see if there's something else that we can do. Maybe, um, I know she does yoga as well, so maybe we could do yoga instead of my usual weight training sessions. Um, I'll find out. And I think I, you know, we have, I have an elliptical machine and a rower at home. Probably won't use the rower, but um, the elliptical machine I think I could use without aggravating my back. So I think I'll do that and just... It's really getting warm out, so I think maybe I'll just, you know, do some walking, which should probably help. All right, so I'm headed back to work now. So I made it through my work day, and 
I'm about to hit the road and head home. Um, I have a massive headache though. I don't know why. I upped my water intake today because it's one of my goals that I haven't been getting to is reaching 64 ounces of water a day. So I started looking, uh, paying attention to my water bottle, which has times listed on them. So sort of goes on one side, it goes from eight until noon. And then the other side, it goes from one until five. And then um, you drink each section by that certain time and it's eight ounces. So it's a glass. Um, so I'm working on that. And I don't know why I have such a massive headache. But I'm going to go home now. <laughs> Hello. It's been a few days. It's now uh, Thursday. Um, and it's week four. So still going, still doing the sugar free. Um, I wanted to give an update on the result of the x ray. I did have an x ray on Tuesday morning. And my doctor responded, uh, messaged me with the results. He said that the that my lower back does show some mild wear and tear in the lumbar spine, but nothing out of the ordinary. Um, and also definitely signs of muscle spasms and a little bit of straightening of the natural curvature, which is due to the muscle spasms in the low back. Another unexpected thing they found on the exam was a kidney stone. So that's unfortunate. Um, but they found it. So he recommended a dedicated course of physical therapy for the back stuff and an ultrasound for the kidney stone. And I'll be doing an ultrasound next week for the kidney stone to, I guess, figure out what kind it is and how we can treat it. Um, other than I'm going to be drinking a ton more water than I have been. Because I'm disappointed in myself for letting that happen. Um, so, let's see. Yes, so I have, I contacted my personal trainer. And I have decided to take a break from my routine, my regular routine of working out um, with her. Um by recommendation from my doctor to do that. Um, so at least until I finish the course of the physical therapy and which will hopefully solve the problem, then I can stop injuring myself while I'm working out. And, but that doesn't mean I'm not, I'm going to stop being active. Um, I, my current average daily steps is 5,000. So I'm going to, just try to get up to 10,000 every day to make sure that I'm moving my body a lot every day and um, doing in ways that isn't going to continue to make the injury worse. Um, so that's the current um, update. Also, I did my desk, my desk did arrive and I did rearrange. I'm not going to show you the entire um, studio because it's still messy and I haven't completely decided on the layout, but I will show you the desk because it's pretty cool. And see, it's very long. It's a standing desk, so it will move up and down. Now I have a spot here. The end of the desk is for my artwork, this, this half. And then this half is for, so this is the watercolor artwork. This half is for the digital artwork and also when I work from home. Um, I'm hoping that this will work out. I'm used to having two separate desks for these two different tasks. Um, but I like that this will move up and down so I can stand up when I need to, to, you know, relieve the pain in my back and then sit down when I need to and um, just gives me more options. And I also like that it's one long surface. It's about 72 inches long. 
and we'll see what happens. I'm going to try out the doing the artwork on this and um, see how that goes. I'm very interested. And then I'll continue to work on cleaning up my studio so that it is actually something I can share. <laughs> Good morning. I wanted to give an update on, so it's been four weeks, and in those four weeks, I have lost 9.9 .9 pounds total. That's, that's oh, what, like two, a little over two pounds a week, um, on average, somewhere in there. And, um, yeah, I noticed, I've been noticing, um, Things are fitting a little better, which is good. And it's still going pretty good. Yesterday was was tough. I had a really long meeting in the morning. And then, you know, spent the rest of the day trying to catch up. It was kind of stressful. By the end of the day, I was really hungry. I didn't have any snacks. And I had to make an extra stop on my way home, so it took me about two hours to get home. And in the afternoon, um, I just really wanted ice cream. Maybe because it was warmer out, it was sunny yesterday, it was almost 70 degrees, so it was sort of a nostalgia type thing. Oh, it's you know it's warm out it's nice out let's go get some ice cream um, also stress level that I had yesterday was higher than most days so it was probably that um, but I got home and had my meal and was fine um, didn't want anything else after that and also realized that I haven't been eating as much fruit this week so that could be part of the desire for something sweet so I can you know I can just have a cup of fruit and that would that would take care of that. Um, so yeah, I'm eating my breakfast right now and then I'm going to move on with my weekend. I will keep you updated um, as we go forward. I'm going to continue with the no sugar. It seems to be really making me feel a lot better. And I will also keep you updated with the uh, back and arm issues and my ability to uh, pick up, increase my steps. I know that I want to increase them to about 10,000 steps a day. That's going to take definitely effort. So that is my plan for the next week. <laughs>